I see originals here back with more unusual stories. Disney World is supposed to be the happiest place on earth, but some people think underneath the surface there's some shady stuff going on. Today, I'm gonna dig deep and present to you my top 10 Disney Park Conspiracy Theories. Number 10. Walt Disney's Spine Chilling Light If you've ever noticed that the light on the second floor of the fire station on Main Street is always on, there's a good reason for it. According to legend, Walt Disney himself haunts the location. An employee said they were doing a little bit of final cleaning up and dusting and turned off the light in the room, which was Walt Disney's old apartment. They turned the lights off, completely walked out, and then noticed once they were outside that the light was back on. She went in and out, turning them back off, and noticing every time she came back out the light was still on. She claimed she had heard a voice coming from inside the apartment that said, Don't forget, I'm still here. Spooky, right? Now, they leave the light on as a tribute to Walt, or he just won't let them turn it off. Either way, he has a great view. And if that's not spine chilling enough for you, maybe this is. Number 9. Real Skeleton on Display The Pirates of the Caribbean ride is full of skeletons, but did you know that at least one might actually be real? Supposedly, back when it was first built, the engineers at Disney felt like the decorative fake skeletons that were sold for stuff like this just didn't look real enough. Of course, it was built in 1967, and there have been some incredible advances in special effects, makeup, and props in the past 50 years, but back then, they just didn't quite cut it. The engineers working on building the ride turned to the UCLA Medical Center to get some skeletons of the bodies that were donated to UCLA for scientific studies and use them to decorate the halls of the ride. Sometime later, new engineers came and took them out and sent them back to be properly buried. With new technological advances, they were able to find fake skeletons that looked good enough for them. According to people who work at Disney, some of the old real skeletons remain, particularly the skull and crossbones above the bed. Spooky. Real skeletons. There's no way. The only thing spookier than that has to be... Number 8. Mind Control Through Smell the more conspiratorial minded have come to believe that Disney is so power hungry that they want to control their theme park guests minds through the power of smell. The thing is, this theory is somewhat accurate. Disneyland's Smellitzer is a device invented by the company that disperses different aromas throughout the park. Attendees have noticed that Main Street smells like fresh cookies while the Candy Palace smells like, you guessed it, candy. The technology is likely harmless, although it may subconsciously manipulate guests into buying more food by making them want the thing that they may not realize they're smelling. If mind control doesn't at least raise a finger at the evil workings of Disney, maybe this next theory will. Number 7. Debbie Stone What happened to Deborah Gale Stone wasn't like the other urban legends surrounding Disney parks. While others featured a vague story that always started out something like, I know someone who worked there and, or I totally heard the story from my friend whose brother's friend worked at the park and, instead, this is a real incident that happened on a ride in 1974. Just over a week after the American Sings ride opened, cast member Debbie Stone was crushed between two walls of the building. It's unclear whether she fell or was trying to jump to a different stage and mistimed the movement of the walls, but she was pronounced dead 20 minutes later at the start of the next show. After the incident, the ride closed while the staff installed safety lights and remodeled so the area would be safer for cast members, but the ride ultimately closed permanently in 1988. Do you guys think this was murder or a mere accident? I wouldn't be too sure if I were you. Thank you for making it this far, and if you're enjoying today's video and you aren't subscribed, I would consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps grow the channel, and I put out videos just like this one all the time, so you don't want to miss it. Number 6. Walt Disney's Frozen Body 
Like I imagine a lot of other people did, I grew up hearing Walt Disney had his body frozen and kept somewhere so that one day, if they found a cure for lung cancer, he could be thawed, cured, and brought back to life. Many people believe since his family was incredibly secretive about his funeral service and where his body was laid to rest, that this was the truth and that his body was actually hidden somewhere in one of the Disney parks for safekeeping. Creepy, right? Unfortunately, this one is probably not true. Although it makes quite a cool Disney legend, he was cremated a few days after his death. His ashes are actually in Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale, California, and you can see his name on a stone there with the names of his family. If Walt Disney's body really is in the depths of Disney, I wouldn't want to find it. Which brings us to the next in line. Number 5. Ashes Everywhere. This one is pretty simple. It's just how it sounds. People think Disney World is the happiest place on earth, so where else would someone want to dump their loved one's ashes? People have been caught dumping ashes all over the park, and the staff is actually taught just to vacuum them up. That's about all. Simple yet very disturbing. No one ever dies. One of the many legends associated with Disney theme parks is the notion that no one ever dies on Disney property. Even if a guest or worker should physically die while on Disney theme park premises, the legend holds they are never officially declared dead until they have been removed off of the property. This is to make sure the reputation of Disney will never be tarnished. Pretty spooky, I think. Number 3. Real Seance Book Anyone who is familiar with the Haunted Mansion will recognize the seance room. Displayed for all visitors to see is a big, old-looking book. According to some Disney fanatics, that book used to be a real spell book. People claim that weird things used to happen at the seance table, like hearing strange voices or things being moved around even though no one was there at night. Like with the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, they wanted it to be really authentic looking and had purchased a real antique spell book in order to make it look totally real. After weird things kept happening and the book kept falling over or opening to different pages, they finally got rid of it and got a prop made for the room. Another version of the story claims that a visitor was loudly mocking the idea of seances in the entire haunted mansion and then when he got into the room, he fell and was severely injured. This claim, like the one about the spell book, have never been proven but the legends still circulate around between Disney lovers. I'm even scared to say bippity boppity boo now. How about you? Number 2. Decapitation one of the most common Disneyland urban legends is that a man stood up while riding the iconic indoor roller coaster and got his head cut clean off. Despite the pervasiveness of this rumor, there's still no truth to it. However, a teenager did in fact stand up while riding the Matterhorn ride in 1964 and was thrown from the cart, sustaining fatal injuries. In fact, there have been a number of fatal accidents at Disneyland, from the young female cast member crushed on the American Sings ride in 1974 that we previously talked about, to a guest being killed on the Big Thunder Mountain roller coaster after the car he was on separated from the rest of the train in 2003. If that's not wild, I don't know what is. And last but not least, Number 1. Illuminati Club Disney's worst kept secret opened in 1967 and has been serving the richest of the rich Disney patrons ever since. If you want to join, it'll cost you $25,000 a year for membership, only after $50,000 in initiation fees. There you can enjoy dinner in an exclusive club for $100. That sounds like a pretty low price for someone who's paying over $2,000 per month to be a member. Most people know about the Club 33, it's not exactly a hidden secret about Disney. Everyone knows that it's an exclusive dining club that only the richest Disney visitors can join. But did you know Walt Disney may have started it as an Illuminati meeting place? This is probably not true, but it's a conspiracy theory that has been circling about Club 33 for around some time. People think since it's so expensive to join and so exclusive that Walt made it for the Illuminati to join and have their meetings. 
The official story is that it was made as a VIP lounge for corporate sponsors to enjoy a private meal in a luxury setting. Still to this day, if you're not in the club, you really don't know what's inside of the place. Sounds really shady to me. Remember this next time you go to a Disneyland park, cause I know I will. You're watching Icy Originals, and this has been Top 10 Disney Park Conspiracy Theories. First of all, I would like to thank all of you for so much support on the last video. It means the world to me. I never thought it would be received that good in a million years. Y'all should keep it up, and thank you for watching it until the end. If you've enjoyed today's video, you might want to consider hitting that like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos just like this one. I'll see you next time.